tonight, the ultimate pharaoh and the winner of the Friday Night Arena Games is Nana. Wow, guys, trust me, this week is actually a great week for the Tabana pair because only in this week they won the Heads of House, they won the um, Send Sponsor Tax Challenge, and now in this Friday Arena game, Tabang was so close to winning because he finished 216 and Nana now um, finished 212. Like she won. Like I'm so happy for them. This is actually a great week for them. Trust me. So whatever they do out of jubilation, it's allowed. I will just, you know, condo it or not even criticize it or anything because I mean, if I were to be in their shoes, I would just misbehave. I'll be so, so overly happy. Trust me, guys. I was so happy for them. Nana emerged the winner in this week's Friday Arena game, okay? So in this video, I'm actually going to be telling you how they played the game, what the game was about, and, you know, the little, little details I actually um noticed I observed during the game. And also, another apropos concerning Miyaku. You know, this whole pair, this whole um divide game, has actually caused a little controversy so i'm actually going to be sharing that in this video okay so guys the housemen were dressed like europeans in the bible you know the pharisees the sadducees or even pharaoh's relatives because i was like when they walked into the arena i was like okay what's going on here i don't understand what is going on here i thought you all are here to play the friday arena game so why y'all dressed like this like i was even thinking it was going to inhibit them from you know carrying themselves or you know being fast and all of that but at the end of the day the game wasn't really that um taxing for them not to now here is how they actually played the game now for stage one big brother asked the housemates to take this circular metal you know um with dingling uh, metal balls rounded all over their head from their feet uh, and they have to walk on the purple line. Now, he was not strict with them this time around. He told them that it wasn't a mandatory for them to walk on top of the purple line, but around it. And then when they get to this point, they had to drop it and actually play the dice. And whatever number that appears on the dice will amount to the number of um, wooden box that they they're actually going to place on the spin, on this spin right there. And they had to ensure that the spin... Um, is steady that is the wooden box doesn't fall from the spin it had to be you know fixed on the spin you feel me not to fall down and all of that after which they had to hop on the x sign on this quest from one to ten like olivia is doing right here after which they had to place these shapes the same way it is on this particular end but in a mirror um way that is in a mirror way basically upside down some kind of way yeah and not straightforward after which they had to stand at the finish sign and now if the buzzer goes on then that means their time has been exhausted but if it if they get if they hear a whistle that means um they actually did something wrong in that particular stage and they had to start afresh pertaining to that particular stage and not afresh altogether now guys like i said earlier nana emerged the winner she finished at 212 i was so 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 happy for her trust me i was so elated like this is the second time a lady is winning now guys during the game remember they are still undergoing the whole um divide game that's um they're not to speak to the other gender you know they're not to stay in the same room they're not to cook for the other gender and all of that i was so certain miracle was going to go against this rule trust me i was so certain he was going to fail and do otherwise and I was so correct. The Great Divide is still in play, and you broke a cardinal rule a few moments ago. Your infringements will be addressed later. Now, when Kosi was playing her own game, Miyako was cheering her up. It was like, go girl, go girl, take your time. You have four minutes, you have four minutes. And I'm like, okay, Baba, I thought you're not supposed to talk. What happened to keeping your mouth shut? What happened to keeping mute and letting her do whatever she wants to do? For freaking out loud, you're not supposed to talk to her. Before the game, he was saying, oh, Olivia, Yvonne, and Elisa were going to go against the rule. But look at him. He's the first person to actually go against the rule. And of course, this comes with um, a punishment. Yeah, it does. And um, Big Brother said he was going to inform him about his punishments. You know, the whole infringement and all of that is going to inform him. Now, back to the gist, I told you I was going to fill your in. Now, you see this divide game? I told you guys before in my previous videos, 
previous previous videos that is actually gonna cause a chaos people were thinking oh it's actually gonna be cool guys just be chill girls just be chill forget that thing it's gonna cause a lot of division and problems and i was so correct and of course this involves miracle once again and it's pertaining to the kitchen i think we need to call our representative mm -hmm. because we need to know if they're done or not this we're going to arena soon mm -hmm. and everyone here eat. this same miracle that jesus is already tired of got Yaya and other, the other ladies exasperated. Now, it's pertaining to the kitchen, it's pertaining to the food. Now, remember, they have to share the kitchen and other public spaces in the house, right? And it has to be with tactics, it has to be with discretion. If not, they're going to have issues and they're currently having issues. Now, Yaya wanted to make eggs for the ladies and she was like, okay, if it was six eggs or eight eggs that he took out of the crate, it would be fine as long as she actually had other eggs, that she actually had some eggs to make for the women, that's the other ladies, right? But Miracle literally took a whole crate, like he took a whole crate of eggs and it got her so exasperated. That was the reason why she actually stayed in the kitchen. She did not move an inch. <laughs> Oh my god, she got so angry and it was time for revenge. She didn't even, of course, they can actually talk to her that, okay, they should be fast for the kitchen, they want to make use of it, because that's them breaking the rule. <laughs> so she stayed in the kitchen, intentionally delayed in the kitchen when making food. <laughs> and guys, guess what? She's actually the female's representative, and Miyako is the male's representative. So today, they were to stay in the yellow box and, you know, converse. And that was when Yaya actually told, um, miracle about her own um annoyance grievance towards him and he also shared his own that oh that she was staying in the kitchen for so long they had, they had to <laughs> cook food to eat that they were starving oh my god first of all the kitchen you guys can't just stay there especially for people who need to take their medication like kanaga what you did moving the eggs away when all i wanted to do was take eight eggs for the girls you removing an entire tray of 30 eggs that was extremely immature because what are the girls supposed to eat and yaya told him that this is actually the reason that she didn't do it intentionally there she lied that all oh, this tea was taking so long that's a lie that's some bs right there but that was her excuse and she also talked to him about the fact that um because is also annoyed with him you know why would he take a whole crate of eggs like why would he do is he now holding food stuff like <laughs> miracle i don't understand why the guys chose him as their rep that's a very huge mistake right there because this guy is actually going to cause a lot of problems for them the problems the issue the altercations the chaos has just begun trust me and now it's starting with food in the kitchen that's the gist guys that is the gist let me know your thoughts on the um arena games and let me know your thoughts on miracle this particular miracle that jesus is tired of thank you so much for staying to the end of this video please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up you can also turn on your post notifications to be notified when i post a new video you know the vibes you know the vibes for my returning subscribers and my subscribers to be i love you all. thank you so much for watching this video bye